Welcome to another tutorial in my tutorial series CAS, Computer Algebra System for Mathematica Technical Applications in Civil Engineering using MathCAD Primus application. In this tutorial, I would like to show you some other applications with vectors in Civil Engineering. Let's present the result from this uh, worksheet I would like to do with you. Uh, here we have an, uh, a hollow box profile and uh, at the beginning we, we would uh, enter the coordinates of the profile, of the outer profile, of the inner profile using vectors with units. Then we visualize them to check uh, if the coordinates we entered are in the right are they right and aren't they right in the right sequence? Uh, afterwards, we have to combine those also outer, uh, outer and inner uh, coordinates in a certain order, like this. And then, with this order, we can visualize this again. This time, we use a chart component in MadCat to make such kind of visualization, which is not possible with this with a simple plot. And then, uh, if we if we combine those um, vectors in such a form, then we can uh, use some certain formulas to uh, determine some cross-sectional parameters, like the uh, the area, like the uh, the first moment of area, the the center of gravity, the second moments of area, and so on. And after, and then we can make it a coordinate transformation to move this profile in the center of gravity. So it looks like this, like the red one. And yes, and, and for this again, we use a chart component. So this is the content of this exercise. And I will not do, uh, I will not start from scratch. Otherwise our, this uh, tutorial is getting too long. So I prepared already a template, which I have here. So all the text entries are already done so we don't have to enter all the text and let's start with our uh, with entering the coordinate as a vector and to do this we click in our worksheet here and then we can go to the uh, register card for matrices and tables where you find vectors and here we can insert a table and we have actually two coordinates let's Look at the picture here. We have um, the y coordinate and the z coordinate. So we have actually uh, two vectors: one for the y coordinates and one for the z coordinates, which have the same size. But we have to count the numbers. Yeah, uh, how many uh, points we need. Yeah, and let's start with the outer profile. I let's start with this point here and go in this direction. So this is the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, and the ninth. Yeah, to, we have this point we have to do again to close this profile. So we need actually nine points. Let's go back to um, MedCat. Here we are and insert our table and with nine values. Okay, so two tables for the two coordinates. Let's move a little bit down. This we call Y. This is our C coordinates. Now let's enter the units. We use centimeters. And besides, we can also visualize this already to check if the coordinates we enter, if they are right. So let's insert also a plot. Let's go to register card plot for the first visualization. Only for the checkup, we, we use a simple plot. So here in the blots register card, we can insert a two-dimensional diagram like this one. And now let's set up the axis. This is our C axis and the unit is centimeters. And this is our Y axis and the units are centimeters as well. And then if we fill up our vectors, then we can see here the visualization of the two coordinate uh, pairs. So let's move this a little bit up here like this. And now it's red yeah, because there's no um, value inside our vectors. The vectors are empty. So that's why we get this error message. And let's start with the first value here. This is the first one. And here we can read um, 
the coordinate uh, y is 60 and uh, c is zero. Let's enter this y was 60. This is zero. And if I click outside, you see then we have our first point here. Let's get back here. The second value is 300 and zero. Let's enter it 300 and zero. Let's click outside and here we are. Yeah, and no, it's 300, not 30. Now it looks better. And let's continue with the third point. Sorry, this was the wrong application, this one. And here we can read it from here. This is actually 310 and the C coordinates is 70. 310, 70. 310, 70. And now I will start, uh, um, I will stop the record and, and will do the rest. And uh, now let's add some new track for the inner profile. Let's go to plot, add a trace. And let's, this is C, I, the units are centimeters. Here again, add a trace. This is Y, I, I stands for inner. And now let's, um, yeah, let's create those vectors. Same workflow like we have done before with the outer one. Go to plot register card, no, not plot matrices and tables. And here uh, we need, to, ah, this time we have to count how many points we need. Let's go back to this, our image here. And um, yeah, this time we have, we need four points. And, uh, but in another order, yeah, we have to start with the same point here and to have a connection later. Yeah, so this, let's, let's use another color uh, for the inner one. Let's take the color. Um, blue and this is actually one and this is two so we we go in a in the opposite direction yeah this is important later for the algorithm yeah so uh, because the coordinates have to be in a certain uh, sequence that the algorithm later for the calculation of the uh, uh, parameter of the cross section parameters should work yeah and that's why this time for the outer profile, we went in this direction and this time we went in the opposite direction. So this is the first one, the second one, the third and the fourth. This one, yeah. So we need four points. Let's go back to MedCat and insert now our vec two vectors with four rows and give it a name. This time the right ones, this is Y subscript i for the inner profile this is c subscript i for the c coordinates the units are also centimeters sorry this was the wrong key now here here we are and now let's enter the points let's start with the first one this is this one here and this has the coordinates 94 y and 24 c let's enter it 90 and 20 here we are let's change the color the color should be let's let's take red and maybe a little bit thicker so it's easier to see this can we also do a little bit thicker and here we are the first point so the second point is should be this one here and this y coordinate is 80 and the c coordinate are 90 80 and 90 and now the other two points are 200 sorry 270 and 20 let's click outside to check ah there is you see there's the there's a mistake yes, that's why it's always nice to check it quite early so this is not 270 is 280 and 90 and 
here let's click outside now it looks better and here it's 270 and 20 now it looks like this and, and i've forgotten actually uh, there is one point missing because we have to close this so this point we have to enter twice that the profile is closed and that's why we, we uh, our matrix is not four points uh, no our um, table or, or our vectors uh, uh, don't uh, don't have only four rows they have actually five rows because there's one point uh, redundant so that's why let's add a additional row go go to the matrices uh, register card and here we can insert a row below and now let's enter this point again 90 and 20 and click outside and now it looks nice okay so we entered our um, our vectors with the coordinates and we checked it in a diagram so that it works fine so the order is correctly uh, and we have all the points and now we have to uh, to combine those two uh, ve uh, vectors to have one profile because actually now we have two profiles yeah? we have an outer one and the inner one and later for our calculation and maybe also for the visualization okay for the visualization actually we don't actually need uh, a combined uh, vector but um, for the calculation, we need definitely a combined vector. And that's why let's um, stack those vectors together. Let's, let's start with the Y coordinates. Uh, give it a name. This is Y. And now we have to stack the, the two coordinates for the outer and the inner profile together, but uh, in a certain order. Um, we have to start with a, with a value. Let's take the picture here. Where we can connect those two profiles and this is actually this point here let's lose another color here and this one here yeah this is actually our connection point with this we have to start uh, and because here one one yeah here we started and this point we have to take as the first value of our uh, combined vector so and how so we need uh, a built-in function with which we can stack those two get vectors together and the function we find in matrices and tables and then we have here functions and this is the function which is called stack okay and uh, we have to start with the first value of our inner vector let's copy this name and here let's enter it and we only need the first value so let's go to operators and here uh, first value and then we need the outer vector this one here and here we are and then the inner vector so in this order we have to stack those two vectors together and we can visualize this if we want let's do it here y under the name uh, capital letter y and trans transpose it because we don't have so much space to to visualize it in a row so we have to transpose here and evaluate this and maybe let's change the units and now here's our stacked vector vector which combines all the coordinates of the outer and the inner profile in a certain sequence and we can do the same with the c coordinates so we just copy this and rename this should be c this also this also this as well and here again we can copy this and just rename it to c and um, then it looks like this so it's not so easy to uh, to compare if they really match together so we can do the following thing if we want if you want to see uh, the whole matrix of our coordinates uh, 
so that they are in one table actually, not, not separated. So we can make the following things, which I also would like to show you. We can use another built-in function, which is called um, augment. With this, we can create a matrix of those two vectors. The first one is y, the second one is c. The other parameters we don't need. We have only two vectors we would like to uh, put together. But uh, because of the space, because now we have, let's evaluate this. Now it's it looks like this, but I don't have so much space. So that's why I transpose this here. And then it looks like this. And here we have now those vectors in one matrix. And now we see our pairs in a better way, our coordinate pairs here. So we, this we can delete. We don't need this. And uh, yes, but this is only for, for visibility reason. And I wanted to show you this possibility uh, with which you can uh, put two vectors together to one matrix if you need this maybe for another purpose. So, okay, so far about combining those two coordinate vectors together to one coordinate vector for one for each direction, y and c. Now we have those two vectors and this we can also visualize in a in a diagram, but this time I would like to show you some other way with which you can uh, make some visualization because if you see this uh, this picture here, this is actually also made by Madcat, but this you cannot do with such a simple plot, yeah, which we have used uh, until now. Uh, this one here, for for such nice plots, you need some other uh, workflow, and uh, this we would do now. I just need my here yeah, my where is it? Yeah, this. Let's move this up. Okay, here we are. And uh, this we can do with, if we go to math, here we find the chart component. Uh, with chart components, you can actually do some more sophisticated charts than with such a simple plot. Okay, let's do this. Let's, at first, we have to click where you, in the, your worksheet where I would like to have the chart component. I would like to have it here. So, And then let's insert the chart component. Takes a while. And here we are. And let's make some space here. And uh, now you have to uh, to enter the input. What would you like to show in this component? You see here. You see also the place. This is the area or the region for the input. And uh, to do so, you have to click inside this region for the inputs. And then you have to go back to chart components. And here you can insert. Uh, for the x-axis and for the y-axis, some expressions. Let's start with the x-axis. And we would, this is the number, so we have uh, one uh, trace, yeah, uh, for the first trace. Yeah, we can, if you add, for instance, a second one, then it looks like this. Yeah, that's the second one. And so we had actually uh, two traces. Yeah, but right now we only need one. So let's delete this. And uh, yeah, and now we have to, to link this with our functions or uh, or values or vectors we would like to display here. In our case, it's the y-axis. So let's take, let's link this with our y-vector. And now let's click behind and insert uh, some, um, some link to the y-axis. Yeah, and this is actually our c-vector. So this is all. And if you click outside now, we get already a picture. So so this is already done. So, but uh, as you see, we have to set up our units because we would like to have, this is in meter. Yeah, this is the base units actually, but we would like to have it in centimeters. To do so, we just have to divide our variables, which have a unit, yeah, they have a unit with the units we would like to use. So we would like to have it in centimeters and this also in centimeters. So now, this is set up to centimeters. And uh, yeah, if you like to change the appearance, then we have to double click. Uh, but uh, I would recommend before you do so, please save. Yeah, because this is actually uh, some, I don't know, I can I say it, some other application uh, which opens now. And uh, I had the experience that sometimes my, when MedCat interacts with some other applications, then it can also um, 
crash down the whole application and that's why I would recommend to save our our status so that if it if it's crashed down then we don't lose so much and now let's give it a uh, give a double click double click at this uh, short component maybe here yeah and now it opens this application it takes a while I have to here the, here we are this is the application and here we can make the setup yeah here we can change the appearance and you see you have more possibilities here to uh, to set up the appearance um, of your shard than just a simple plot in Madcat. Okay, let's change it. So to do so, let's start here with, here you have actually some, uh, uh, unfortunately now this is in German, I don't know why. This is actually in English, but uh, I don't know why it's, this is in German. So I don't know how can I change this. Um, anyhow, uh, you have to, yeah, I have actually, I have actually no clue how I can change the setup of the language of this uh, software here in Madcat. It's quite easy. Uh, I can use the German and the English one, both, uh, and I can open uh, the German or the English one. Here, I don't know how I can change this. If somebody knows this, can then please be so kind and write it in the comments of this tutorial. So, but let's leave it in German. Maybe it's, it's still helpful for you. Let's, uh, let's change the setup. Here we have we have some uh, traces, yeah, and uh, there are some uh, some types, yeah, you can use. Uh, and um, let's start with this one here and uh, then we can uh, find here the, uh, the 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 general style of the uh, of the chart yeah and here you have the uh, the diagram background and this you can actually not turn off yeah but the otherwise the the frame yeah you can turn off the the uh, the plot area yeah you can also turn off i don't need this this is this around and also the plot frame i also don't like to have this, this I turn off. Then I can set up my uh, x axis here. Takes a while. And here we are, we have the style. Yeah, so we can turn this off completely. So then you don't see any axis. Yeah, and uh, you can change the, the, uh, the font type if you prefer. You can change the font size of your x axis. Uh, then you can set up some grid lines. And this we maybe we would like to do some grid lines. So uh, just turn them on. And yes, the color is okay. Now you see the preview and maybe also some additional grid lines. And then it looks like this. And uh, yeah, and then we can go further to the title and the title. Uh, we can turn on yeah, and then we can enter a, the name of this axis and I call it Y. And here you can also set up where you would like to have this title. Now it's in the center. Let's move it at the uh, at the end. It looks like this. And you can set up the, the font size and the font, uh, the font type, the font size and so on. This we don't need. We also don't need no frame and no background. If you want, you can, of course, you can do it as you wish. And then we can set up the the uh, the x-axis, uh, the range of the x-axis, because now it's just a default range, and it's actually it, it is nice. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, but if you if you want, then we can also change this here. You can say from zero to three sixty, and every twenty uh, centimeters we have a line for me it is okay and that's why i leave it like this and now let's do the same with the y-axis again here are the style and we we like to have it yeah and also some uh yeah and some quit lines let's turn them on as well here we are and the title let's turn on the title uh this is actually the y-axis and uh, not the c-axis as it's called, it's the y-axis, but it's in our case the name is C. 
and um, and then the position should be um, at the end here and we would like to don't want to have it turned the ankle uh, so let's it's zero degrees it's better so and then it looks like this okay the rest we will leave we leave the default and then here let's go to the setup and here we have 110 i prefer 120 actually yeah uh, so then we have also uh, the same space yeah so uh, that's why i change the default from 1 to 120 and i divide this with 6 so we have the same uh, set up like in the x axis and you see uh, we have to make this to um, not a rectangle this should be actually so because now we have here a rectangle uh, and it should be actually a square uh, otherwise our uh, profile uh, profile here is deformed yeah and this we don't want to and that's why uh, i set up uh, i use the same setup for those two x axes and uh, yeah now let's close this and to correct this uh, we can use here then we can just click on it and now move it like this i have, I have actually no better idea how to do this and uh, yes and if this is more or less a square then we have uh, our uh, uh, formation of our uh, profile is um, in a better in a, in a more accurate way okay so far about this then we have visualized our cross section in a in a short component and uh, now let's do some calculation to determine the cross sectional parameters for this we need a certain range variable for those mathematical operations and uh, let's enter this here in this text uh, in this text uh, block here this mass region and then give it a name we call it i for for the, for the index of our vector and let's de define it we start with the second row yeah and go oh sorry points and go to the last value of our vector and it doesn't the vector have the same size so it doesn't matter if we if we use for this the the y or the the c vector uh, so and this is our index for the for the later operations we need let's just visualize it here so it looks like yeah we start with the second value and then we go until the last value of our vector the 15th one okay let's delete this don't need this anymore and now let's enter the first formula we have this um, let's start with an auxiliary calculation we call this um, variable uh, uh, small um, cap, uh, small letter a and uh, we need the index because it's also a vector here this one for our i and let's define it now with the formula and we take the y vector and here's the index and we start with the first one of the y vector and multiplicate this with the with the second one yeah i starts uh, i starts with two of the c vector let's just copy it and rename it with c and here delete this one so the first one because we go we say i minus one the two minus one means one so we this is the first vector of, of the y vector and this we multiplicate with the second vector of the c vector and that's why maybe you understand now why we need a certain sequence to, to make this run otherwise this formula will not work as yeah? so you you have to order those coordinates in a certain sequence and then you can use such kinds of formulas and for this we have to subtract with this one here let's copy it and give it to the opposite 
and i minus one. And here we are. Actually, we create a new vector. I can just visualize this here how it looks like. So with some with some values. Yeah. And this we have to combine to the area. For this we need an, another formula. Now we have we can calculate the art the area from this um, um, from this auxiliary calculation and define it. And this is the formula. And for this we need the sum operator. And now we have only have to sum up this variable. And let's evaluate this. And we need this in square centimeters. So and then it looks like this. Now we can change the um, here the format. Maybe this is better. So. This is how we can enter such kind of formulas. I will not bore, uh, borrow you with to entering all those formulas which come which are coming now. Uh, here I will just um, uh, skip this. Uh, I will just uh, skip this video, and then I will continue with the coordinate transformation. So here we are. I just copied and pasted. Or the other formulas which are done in this, uh, which are entered act normally in, an, in a similar way, uh, like I have shown you with this formula or the other formulas. And then uh, we can now do the coordinate transformation. For this, we need another range variable to do so. And um, yeah, let's enter this. Uh, we call it the same name, we call it i. And we start with one, go to the last, no, two points. Uh, actually, you find the range variable also here. Yeah, I just used those two points. You can also, also enter those two points with the uh, certain keys on your keyboard. And this I have done so far. And then I go to the last value of my vectors. Doesn't matter y or c. This is our range variable. And now let's do here the transformation. We create a new vector for the transformed coordinates. This we call y subscript t and now we have to use our index here i and now let's define it with a formula and we take our y vector and here need a subscript and subtract our calculated um, center of graf uh, graffiti uh, graffiti for the y direction this we this was calculated here, this one. And here we are. Let's do the same with the C coordinates. Now we just have to rename. Oh. And this is not a Y, this is a C. So and now we can again um, visualize this in our in our chart component. For this, I just copy the chart component I used here to the clipboard and paste it here to save some time. And now we can at first, yeah, maybe let's let's add a new trace. Yeah. So yeah, I click in the input uh, region here, maybe here and this at this point, and then I go to mass tab. Then to chart component, expand this menu here and insert a new x uh, axis or new values for, for the x axis. And this is actually y subscript t divided by centimeters. Let's click behind and now let's insert the y axis. And here this is actually, let's just copy this and paste it. But this is c. Now let's give it a click. And here you see already our two profiles. Of course, now we have to set up the axis yeah, so that you look in a better way. Uh, to do so, we would I would recommend to save before we open this uh, application here and give it a double click. And here we are. So let's go to the first. Um, uh, trace and here to the setup 
and we give it a name. This is actually original profile. And uh, you see, you can also use another uh, y-axis if you want, uh, but in our case, we only have one, and it's okay to use the same y-axis. And uh, yes, and the color, this is actually the first one. Let's do it red. No, this is, uh, let's leave it in blue. And the style, maybe use this line style, and maybe this line thickness. And this is okay. Now let's go to the second one. This I like to have in red, the transformed. Um, the style is okay, and maybe a little bit thicker line. And symbols we don't need. We also don't want to have filled areas. Let's go to the setup, and this we called called transformed. And uh, yeah, we can. I have to set up our y-axis yeah so let's go to the y-axis and then here to the setup and then we can turn this off so that we can see both yeah and of course you can again you set up in the same way that that you get some squares here but this i will skip now if you want you can do this i will just uh, would like to show you how you can uh, show a legend so let's go to the uh, to this uh, part here for the whole diagram, yeah. If this is this is the y, the x-axis, the y-axis, and those are the two traces. And here, if you click here, this re register, then you have to set up for the whole di chart. And then we can go to legend, and here we can turn it on. And then you can, uh, yeah, you can set it up how you would like to have it, like this, or like this. Yeah, then you have it. Uh, in such an order, I think the other one was not bad, uh, or this one actually. Yeah, and then you can also change the font type, the font size, and the appearance. But I think so far it should, should be enough. Yeah, let's close this, and here we are. Yeah, this is our uh, our uh, chart component where we can show our two um, um, profiles. Yeah, the Old one and in one, and maybe it might be a good idea to show that it's that the uh, that this is the transformed one where the uh, the center of graf graffiti is in the origin of our coordinate system. Maybe let's set up the coordinate system that the y axis is also in zero. So let's give it a double click again and let's go back to our y axis. And here we have to go to the setup, I think. And and here in the position we have to say x is c, it should be zero, yeah. And then we have it in in x equals to zero in this uh, in the origin. Yeah. Then this the the c axis is also goes to the origin, and I think this is better in our case. And and maybe the y axis as well, uh, the x axis as well. So and here. Let's go to setup and then here, then both axes go to the origin. This uh, might be a better way for the visualization. Okay, let's turn it, let's close this. And yeah, so far about this, yeah, what have we learned in this uh, tutorial? Let's go back to the beginning. I have shown you how you can enter such kind of profiles yeah, at the beginning. We used two tables, yeah, one for the outer profile, one for the inner profile, and we entered the coordinates in those vectors which are created uh, with this with those two tables, and we visualized them. Um, besides that, that we, that we can check up the the input, yeah, that they are in the right sequence, and then we had to match those two vectors for each coordinate y and c together, yeah, because we uh, we need this for our formulas, yeah, on the one hand, and on the other hand, we also wanted to visualize the whole profile as a as one, yeah. And but for this, we used um, a short component this time. This is not just a simple plot, yeah, which you can create from here. And here with the short components, we have more possibilities to set up the appearance of our plots. And uh, yes, so we we uh, we merged all our uh, vectors together, yeah, in a certain way. 
we did this for the y axis, uh, for the y coordinates and for the c coordinates. Here you see our uh, our uh, coordinate pairs in a in a matrix. Then we visualize it as a short component. Then we could make the calculation with those certain formulas. I have to mention again here: if you use such kinds of formulas, then you have to enter the coordinate vectors in a certain sequence. Yeah, you, the, the sequence should be in a certain way. Uh, again, yeah, you have to the outer profile have to go in this direction. Yeah, and the inner profile have to go in the opposite direction. Yeah, if you if you enter the coordinates and you need some link point here, this was this one which with which you should start your um, your vectors and um, yeah, this is important to know. Yeah, if you would like to use such kind of formulas, then I have shown you how you can enter uh, such a formula. Yeah, the rest I just copied and pasted yeah, because this is this is uh, more or less the same. Yeah, so we evaluated some uh, parameter for the cross sections, and uh, if we uh, had the uh, center of gravity, yeah, then we could do a uh, coordinate transformation to move our profile in the center. Of gravity uh, or in the origin of our coordinate system, which we have here. Yeah, then, uh, then we make this transformation, and then we um, we showed both profiles, the uh, the original profile and the transformed profile in such a short component. Yeah, I thank you for your attention, and maybe see you in another tutorial.